Hello everyone. So for the past uh, couple of weeks, I'm actually um, spending a lot of time working on uh, documents that I'm trying to create only using org mode and I'm actually very happy with uh, the outcome. I recently started talking about LaTeX and also I played a lot with org reveal and uh, when you're working with documents when you are uh, trying to create a document that you want to share with others maybe you want to create a presentation maybe you want to write a book you also want to have uh, some diagrams and uh, these diagrams are something that either you can create somewhere else maybe in visio and then maybe you can uh, take a screenshot and then import them in your org file that will work but uh, the problem with that particular approach is, personally, I feel that uh, because uh, when you're dealing with images, those images are something that you have to maintain and update and it is a pain unless you're taking a screenshot. I think you should use images or screenshots when it is a screenshot. Otherwise, if you want to create a diagram like the like this, where you are trying to explain maybe a flow or a process, or maybe you're trying to explain something uh, diagrammatically, sometimes having these diagrams really help. I think plant UML is wonderful. So in this video, I, I don't really want to talk about uh, each and everything about plant U UML. But I want to talk about how you can uh, get started with plant UML and uh, org mode. And uh, as usual, I will share uh, the installation process. And at the same time, I will try to give you very simple, quick examples. So installing plant UML is actually very simple and easy. All you need to do, you need to install it from uh, your Melpa. And uh, just install this plant uml hyphen mode and you're done that is it that is all you need to do but of course when you when you want to start using it you have to basically download a jar file and you have to basically include it in your uh, init file and it is actually very simple and i'll show you how how i do it so i have a directory called libraries in my org modes home directory basically there is a directory where i have the this particular jar file and uh, then i copied this uh, code this is by the way all um, mentioned on your uh, uh, org modes uh, plant uml uh, setup instructions so just follow it but it, it is uh, i mean not really a complicated piece of code just you know few lines so just include it in your emacs init file and then uh, restart your emacs and that is it then you are uh, basically ready to include diagrams in your uh, documents and the good thing about uh, those diagrams is that those diagrams are nothing but uh, text code so you can always generate them and regenerate them whenever you have to and uh, maybe i'll give you one example so this is one of course document and uh, if you look here in this particular uh, i mean i'll probably create a new one so all you need to do is create is insert a block like a code block so i'll insert it using you know this uh less than s and then tab and then you have to basically use the um, mode basically we are talking about plant uml and that is what you have to do now when you're dealing with uh, something that you are uh, i mean when you're dealing with code or any any source code block it is always good to have uh, the name for example uh, this particular source code block is basically a demo of uh, plant uml right and uh, one good thing that you can also do is when you whenever you're generating a generating an image you can uh, you, you can of course uh, see it in see it in the buffer if you have the, the if you have the inline display of your images enabled or you can at the same time when you export your document you can also save those images in a in a directory or basically uh, you can export it as a file so that you can use it in your uh, um, html or presentation or maybe your latex document and you can do do that by simply using this option called file and then uh, specify a directory if you I, I prefer having a directory like uh, you know whatever this is so demo plant uml and 
that is it maybe i want to i want to create a png file so this is all you need to do and here you have to basically write the code so let us write a, write some codes and uh, you have to basically start by using this start uml and uh, you have to basically end this using end uml so it is of, of course not really going to be massively complicated start and end uml right so now you have to basically write something here now if you're new like me if you are also learning then i recommend you to go to this uh, plant uml's website and copy the code and what you can do is the the great thing about this particular site is that it will let you create uh, if you click on any of the image it will take you to the actual code that you can either copy and paste or you can actually uh, play with it here directly so if i want to maybe just create this uh, um, document where i just want to have maybe something like this where i have alice is requesting something to bob you can see here that it will immediately refresh or maybe i'll just do something like this alice right and maybe i want uh, oh no i think i did something wrong so i, I have to do something like uh, if you want to create an actor like you know a user image you have to do something like this maybe um user and then uh, maybe you also want to create something like developer and if you wait for like one second it will actually display this straight away so this is a something that you can also copy i mean let me just do it here so this is user so we are, we are talking about actors and uh, and of course i'm not really go really going to talk about each and everything that you can do with plant uml because you know even i don't know how to do it i'm just learning uh, along with you guys so developer so if you press control c control c it will of course generate this for you and it will it will also uh insert this link so what i can do is i can uh, or display inline images and we can see this image wonderful image now this image is of course a bit small so what you can do is you can uh, um use this uh, option on top called skin param and you can type in here a scale and you can specify the size maybe you want uh, 300 by 300 so this is something that you can do and uh, control c control c yes and uh, oh so i think you have to use a scale let me just search for it i think the right i forgot actually but uh, that is how you you can definitely do dpi uh, let me just you know check for the dpi first dpi 200 and uh, control c control c yes and uh, display the images again so now you can see that this is of course uh, slightly bigger and uh, let me just play with this here or just do a quick google search plant uml uh skin skin param scale and uh, let, let us check the exact uh, code i think it is scale with colon let me just verify scale do we have something here yeah i think this should have worked let me just try it one more time 200 by 200 200 by 200 oh i think uh, we don't need to use uh, skin param here let me just try it without the skin param and uh, try to generate it again yeah i think it it works let me just try 500 by 500 Yeah, I think this is fine. So either you have to use a scale 500 by 500 or you can use something like this where I'm using here uh, skin param DPI. You can specify DPI here as well and it will generate slightly bigger image. So this is something that I wanted to do. Like generate, I wanted to generate slightly bigger image because when you export it, I mean these images are small. Sometimes it is fine, but when you are exporting them to maybe, uh, maybe a PDF file using LaTeX and... Uh, maybe you are trying to generate a presentation 
you need a slightly bigger size and you can also generate svg but the problem with svg is that svg is not really natively supported by 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 latex uh, and you have to use uh, something like shell escaping i'm also trying to figure out basically you have to using space and it is of course of course a bit complicated so for me the most simplest thing that i wanted to do was generate a bigger png file and now if you look at it it is a wonderful it is a wonderful image and uh, you can also do something like this where you have groupings and you want to create arrows and of course i don't really want to talk about each and everything that you can do with uh, with plant uml i recommend you to take a look at their uh, website plant uml and then play with it and it is actually really useful you will love it and uh, this particular example here that i that i'm you know, working on here um let me just go back to the plant uml website and uh, replace it here with the the code and it will actually generate this straight away immediately so this is actually amazing and i and i quite uh, love it because if you're trying to explain something to someone i think having these diagrams really really help not always but i i try not to use them all, like a lot but uh sometimes if if you are talking to wide range of i mean th there are people who need some explanation with the help of diagrams and uh, if you can create these diagrams with uh, something like plant uml where all you're doing is uh, working on code and it will generate the diagram for you then you know it is a text file and everything is within your org file so you can uh, version control them you can actually maintain them and you can generate these images on need basis and i thought i'll also share it with all of you today because maybe you want to do something similar and maybe you have a requirement to um to do this for your project if you are maybe writing a document or maybe you are preparing a proposal or maybe presentations then do take a look at plant uml i have lot of things that i want to share related to not only plant uml but latex org reveal and uh, generating pdf files in general because i am actually working on a uh, lot of these things uh, for the past couple of weeks i, I think i have like a very good set of uh, uh, configurations and i'm i mean there is no limit on how much you can do i mean you can take them to any level but i think uh, the way i work i i, I want to deliver i want to continue I I I I don't really want to do a deep dive without delivering. So my intention is now to basically stop doing further configurations to my org uh, files especially related to the export of latex and uh, org reveal presentations. I I now want to focus on uh, actually delivering the content <clears throat> and uh, I will definitely share because I have a lot of documents like i have i have like i prepared like a list of things that i want to share with all of you and as i mentioned in my previous videos you don't need to learn each and everything i think if you know 10% of these things like latex uh, org reveal or anything that you're trying to do with export maybe you want to generate uh, these wonderful plant uml files i think uh, 10% is all you need for 90% of uh, uh day to day requirements when it comes to generating these uh, diagrams so that is all that is all uh, that, is, that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much